Hello everybody, this is Todd Frazee and this is the downloading tool libraries tutorial to help you upload tool files if you were to trade them between team members or in this case we're going to be starting with the Titan building blocks libraries and then we're going to build our own tools upon that. So the first assignment, download tool libraries, you should be able to find it in Canvas. And what you're going to first do is you're going to download two files. So there's hyperlinks in the first step of the assignment. You want to click on the hyperlink and those will default to going to your downloaded folders. So if you hit select folder while it's still opening, you'll be able to find them in the download folder, at least in Windows 10. So the two libraries we need are the the rocket uh, the rocket tool library and the Titan building blocks tool library. The rocket tool is a series that if you choose you can go um, and watch Titan's series on lathe work and has some basic lathe tools in it that we're going to use. And the Titan building blocks is his introductory series on milling. We are, again, only going to use some of the tools that he has in his libraries, but it will give us a starting point because it has a, a pretty good complement of your average tools you would use. Okay, so you need to make sure these two files are somewhere where you know how to access them. Okay, once you've done that, we're going to go over to Fusion 360. I have a default screen. We don't have to necessarily even have a part loaded, but you do need to change the workspace from design to manufacture. And we're going to use these icons over here that are the manage icons. Yeah, the first one is tool libraries, the second one is machine library. Okay. So we're going to pick the down arrow and we're going to tool library. What we do that is we're going to right click on local and we're going to import tool library. Now you have to navigate to where you downloaded the file. So mine was in downloads. And I'm going to bring in the Titan Building Blocks uh, file first and hit open. And it'll show up here on our list of tools. And we'll have a list of tools and holders that are pre-configured for the Titan library. Let's repeat that procedure for our lathe tools. So we're going to highlight on local. We'll right click import to the library and go to your downloads if that's where you put it and we're going to get the rocket library as well. We'll hit open and it shows up down here and it has a series of tools related to the lathe and you can cycle through here and see what types of tools. This is a lathe tool bit with a triangular insert, the diamond shaped, another diamond shaped profile, a uh, grooving tool. Now over here on the milling side, we've got flat end mills. We have round ball mills. There's uh, drill bits. And we have taps. And we also have chamfer mills. And we have a slot mill. Looks like a saw. So that's it. That's how you download and import the files into Fusion 360. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to select the tools we're going to be using for the TCOS engine, and we're going to copy these tools over to that library. The tools we'll need for that job is tool 2 from the mill library. So you should be able to say copy tool, and we'll go over to the TCOS library, and we'll right click and hit paste tool. So now we have the tool 2 that we took from the Titan library and inserted into this one specific to the project. Now we're going to go back and we're going to need tool number 4 which is a quarter inch end mill. Let's copy that one. Again, paste. And then we'll need tool number 5. Copy. Paste. And then we're going to skip to tool number eight. All 
And then we're going to skip to tool number 15. And that, that's it for the milling tools we're going to use for that series. And we have our water jet fine tip. Um, but we're going to be creating some tools that were not in the tool library in a, a future video to add to this. Okay, so now let's go to our, our rocket library. Okay, we're only going to use a couple tools from this one. Okay, so the first lathe tool we're going to copy over is a uh, outside diameter tool, um, a turning tool with a um, carbide insert, diamond shaped. Right click on tool number one, copy tool, go to the TCOS library, right click, paste tool, and go back to the rocket library. We're going to get tool number two. We're going to repeat this procedure, copy, pick the TCOS, right click the paste. Back to the rocket, we're going to pick up a grooving tool. It's for grooving and parting off. We're going to copy this tool. Click over in a white space. Right click. Oops. Uh, pick on the TCOS library. Right click, click, and paste tool. Now we're also going to be using drill bits on the lathe. Um, they are a rotary tool, but when they use on the lathe, they are uh, on center line on a basic lathe they're called what's a dead tool so uh, we may need to um, change adjust the settings within our document uh, for the drill bits but I believe we should be able to use the ones that were on the mill list and that's it so you should be at this point you should be able to go to a TCOS folder and you should show several tools now uh, don't be uh, confused by the fact that some of them are labeled the same number for different style machines. Uh, they only be functional in the modes that you're programming in. Alright, so that's it. And um, I hope this was informative for you. And uh, that's how you import the tool libraries. Um, go ahead and submit a text box response that you've done this. And you get 50 points. Should be pretty easy. And then after you've done that, uh, follow the next tutorial, which will teach you a little more about the tools themselves and how to create them. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you on the next video.